We're excited about this uh, combination between a legend, Mike Tyson, and this uh, game-changing clean caffeine brand, LF Go Energy Pouches. Now let's get straight to it, Mike. Uh, we gotta talk about it. We thought it was four years ago after the Roy Jones fight, we thought you were hanging up the gloves, but no, come back. Now, it's going down in less than, I mean, just over a month with YouTuber Jake Paul. Talk to us about how your training has changed from the past to what you're doing now. I'm just, um, it hasn't changed much. Um, it's a fight I'm preparing for. I'm training a lot harder, and um, I'm just ready. It's hard to explain the training methods and stuff. I'm just ready to fight. Well, okay, so talk about it this, Mike. We, we, we've seen your videos. We know about, you know, the rigorous training and how intense you are. Your preparation is like no other. How has it changed when you're going up uh, against such a younger opponent? And how's the physicality change? And is anything different from what you've done in the past to now? Well, I get more massages than before. <laughs> <laughs> well, younger doesn't necessarily mean better. You know, it's yeah. just it's just good hype for the fight, but it doesn't necessarily mean better. I'm just I'm, I'm I spar with younger guys, younger than him, better fighters than he is. No, so I'm just I'm just prepared to fight. Let's, let's, let's talk about that, because I know you've mentioned how the biology is different. Talk to us about how the biology, how the, the younger, does, the, the age does not matter. Tell us about that a little bit more. Well, listen, um, the reason why you don't see most fighters doing this is because most fighters are not um, Mike Tyson. They're not taking care of them. So you know, so if you see a fighter, if you see a fighter my age, he, he, doesn't look like I look. He doesn't perform like I perform. He doesn't work out like I work out. I, I, I'm just constantly working out. I just, I, it's hard for me to describe what makes it different. The other thing, the only thing that makes it different is that my body might get sore than it did when, it, when I was younger, so I need more massages. I get the massages <laughs> today. But other than that, I work just as hard. I work pretty much, it's, it's slowed down, but I work pretty much through the whole day before they took out um, at least two of my workouts. Okay, that makes sense. Now, David, I, I should ask you now, um, thank you so much for joining us. You know, we're excited about the uh, LF Go Energy Pouches and, you know, this game-changing clean caffeine brand like no other. Um, talk to us about, you know, Mike putting his body to test like never before and how important it is for him to be, you know, partnering with a clean, sustained energy boost like LF Go. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, when Mike's team uh, announces this fight and, you know, it's revolutionary that, that he is going to come back and, as an icon and do this and uh, his whole training method and clean living uh, is a big reason why he looks the way he does and he can perform the way he does. So we were uh, very proud and um, very excited to partner up with his team and bring him a product that can provide a solution for energy that's clean uh, because most of the uh, products that are, are out there and have been out there in the past um, really don't sit well with uh, with training the way it is today especially with certain demographics of our of our age and uh, this brought him uh, and his team a clean caffeine energy with a different delivery system that uh, really doesn't you know bother his stomach or bother uh, bloating or any of the other things that uh, typical energy drinks do. So uh, we're super excited to be associated with uh, the legendary Mike Tyson. Ditto. <laughs> now Mike, talk to us about, uh, you said it before, uh, boxing is 90% mental, 10% physical. How are you preparing mentally uh, for this upcoming fight? Anything different like you've done the, you know, from the past or, or any different background or you've gained? that's uh, helping you out now? Well, um, you know, boxing has become more um, of a, what, what do I say? Um, you, you, um, you, you, um, nowadays, um, uh, you can get in better condition than you did in the past. Um, we have medicine, we have um, treatments. Um, as I was saying before, um, I get my electric treatment that, you know, that's new to boxing and it rejuvenates me and uh, it gives me the energy that I need besides the LF Go. Like this, I always take the LF Go before I go to sparring. Before I go sparring, I just put one in my mouth and I, and I put it in there for a few minutes, spit it out, and then it's on. And then that was my energy. I can't imagine doing this on Red Bull or anything. 
All right, Mike, let's talk about your training a little bit. Your, your speed and your power has been a defining part of your fighting style. What kind of conditioning and training are you focusing on to make sure you're as explosive as you've ever been? The same thing, I do 10 rounds on the, um, the, exhaust, um, the assault bike. Um, I box six to seven rounds a day. Um, do my body exercises. It's just extreme work. Like it's, it's only different is I do it three times a day. You know, how fast I finish my boxing training, I do my strength and conditioning training, then I do my weights later on that night. And that's pretty much what happens before I go to bed. And you're ready to go, right? You feel good. I'm ready to go right this second. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> All right, David, let me ask you a question now. We're excited about, uh, you know, this product, and we just want to know if there anything, ne what's next? Uh, any announcements we should know about, look out for, any exciting developments you want to let us in on? Well, first of all, we can't wait for the fight um, and, uh, and watch Mike uh, do his thing. And, uh, and then we plan to be uh, with Mike going to retail and finding our product on the shelf of all kinds of convenience and big box retailers out there. Um, but the delivery system of what this does with, with caffeine can also be used uh, in all kinds of components and, uh, and different products and consumer products like vitamins and whatnot. So, um, again, Mike's a partner of LFGO and we're going to do a lot of things down the road, but the first thing I think we're all focused on is this fight and uh, enhance his performance and anything we can do to improve his lifestyle, um, we are there for him. All right, well, speaking about like, the fight, is there anything you want to let the, the, the people know about the fight, what you're going to be Bring it to the table in case they don't know. A lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> I think you throw that in there. Appreciate you, Mike. I think right now is a good time to open it up uh, for some questions. Anyone has any questions for Mike? Uh, go, we'll, we'll go ahead and get, get him on mic right here. Go ahead and tell us your name and what outlet you're from and uh, give us that question. Uh, I said Mike Madrid. Fire. How you doing, Chad? I'm good, so I'm like it. Wow, I'm so I'm with the love. Uh, what kind of fight can Jake Paul expect from a Mike Tyson uh, that's energized with LF Go? Constant pressure. Con in the face all night. So you mentioned that Sour Cherry is your favorite LF Go flavor. Which uh, one of your Mike Bites flavors would you pair that with? Wow, Mike Bites is something different because um, that's pretty heavy stuff. You know, um, it's very popular, but it's a little strong for me, Mike Bites. I stick with the, um, the, the lower doses of it. I won't take the whole year, I take a little nip of it. Thank you, champ. Go knock them off. Appreciate yeah. you. Appreciate it. Who's next? Go ahead, right up front. Go ahead and give us your name, the outlet you're from, and, and your question. Amy Kaplan with Bro Bible. Hey, Amy. Hi, how are you? I'm awesome, thank you. I'm just curious if you saw uh, Jake Paul's fat body videos and if you think he's taking his training seriously for you. I, I, listen, I think he's taking it very, very seriously because his health depends on it. <laughs> and yeah, he's, he's, he's not, he's nobody I'm looking at, um, I'm not looking past him, I'm taking him lightly at all. What was the biggest motivation to take this fight? Because you don't have anything to prove, you already are the greatest. I don't know, I, I kind of dig being seen by 80,000 people live. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. What's your name and your outlet and your question? Andrea Taylor with ESPN. Um, hey. Mike, at, at 58, man, like, can you talk about how you have felt going into this fight compared to the last time that you fought as a pro? Like, it feels like you're completely re-energized about the sport as a whole. I think, um, when I was fighting professionally, I think I was too stressed out. I never had a chance to relax. I never had a chance to be me and enjoy who I was. I never had a chance to enjoy my championship. Because everything, everything was coming at me. Lawsuits here, lawsuits here. Divorces here, divorces here, doing this. Doing. I never really had a chance to enjoy myself as a human being. This is the moment in time I can enjoy myself as a human being. I have better life skills than I had when I was fighting. One more for me. Uh Oh, everybody talks about Jake Paul and whether he's good or bad for boxing. Do you feel like you're fighting for boxing when you step into the ring for Jake Paul? No, not at all. Boxing's too big for me to, to represent. You know, boxing's bigger than me. 
you know, sometimes fighters become, um, I don't know what I call them, become bigger. They say he's bigger than boxing. No, we can never be bigger than boxing because boxing made us who we were or who we are. So we're never bigger than boxing. I don't look at myself that way. I don't look at myself bigger than boxing by far. No, never. Over here. Go give us your name. I'll let you question. Hi, Mike. My name is Janice Malone. I'm with Film Festival Radio Las Vegas. I'd like to know what is your daily nutrition routine and what's next for you after Jake Paul the win? Well, listen, my daily, um, I, I take probably a thousand or a thousand pills a day. I don't know. I used to laugh at guys my age when I was 20. I said, what's all those pills for? So I take all these, vi these vitamin pills, these, um, it's, listen, it's, it's, very, it's very intense. It's very intense, but it, is, it does the job. It keeps me healthy, it keeps me energized. Mike Tyson working the way he should. I'm just very grateful with my life so far. What's the next after Jake? Um, sky's the limit. Anyone else questions up front? Give us your name, your outlet, your question. Uh, Ellie Sekback, ES News. Hey Mike, how are you feeling? Come on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me ask you this, Mike. Everyone in boxing that I talk to, and I talk to hundreds of people, all rooting for you to beat Jake, to whoop him. Yes. But let's reverse it. If you were 27 and he was 58, how would that fight end up? Well, I would never fight a 58 year old man <laughs> if I was 27. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it wouldn't end up good for him if you did? No, not at all. And then, obviously, you're very witty and you have a lot of life experience. What advice would you give Mike Tyson, the 18 year old, uh, 21 year old world champion? That it's not going to be as bad as you think. Everything's going to be okay. You know, when I was young, I said, I'm not going to live on my life. Shit, all oh, this is bad. I hate myself. And I'm just, it doesn't matter. This everything's going to be okay. You stick in there. Don't give up. And, and the last one for me. You have 80 million followers. What's yeah. the best part of being so famous? What's the toughest part? I have 80 million followers? <laughs> <laughs> you do on social media if you add up your followers. Um, thank you. That's it. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> We're gonna keep it up front. Go ahead and give me your outlet, your question. Um, Michelle Joy Phelps with Fight Hub TV. Hi, Mike. How are Hi, you? Michelle. Um, are you a bit surprised as to how far Jake Paul has come in the boxing industry? Because you know, initially when he came on the scene, people didn't think that he would make it as far as he has. Has that also surprised you? Uh, I'm just, I'm just very grateful that we're here doing this. Nothing surprises me in life. Everything's um, ordained by God, so nothing surprises me. It was, it was written before, it was already written. Everything's been written, so nothing surprises me. And what about his physique? He looks a lot larger now than he did, you know, a year ago. Hey, that's okay. He probably eats a lot better than he did a year ago. <laughs> All right, thank you. Anyone else? We Alejandro Ramirez from Boxing and Basketball. First of all, congratulations on the partnership of the product. And also, how did this partnership come about? And, and also, how excited are you to be in training camp and getting ready for this fight? Well, explain to one of the Okay, I mean, uh, the partnership, I mean, as, as, as Mike announces his fight and his lifestyle has to go back to training mode, um, they were looking for solutions, as they should be, and we became good timing that we launched our product right around the same time as the announcement of the fight, and we became a great solution for the healthy and the, the wellness-focused training that he's got to do. So uh, both parties uh, uh, connected and uh, was a match made in heaven. So I think we just want to be one piece of the solution for Mike. Mike does everything himself. We just we're happy to be here and be one piece of the solution for him. Thank you, Dave. Hi, Mike. Tara here. I just want to say you're a boxing legend. Um, what has been some of your favorite moments so far as you prepare against your fight with Jake Paul? Hey, I'm just having the opportunity to be able to do what I'm doing now, talking to all you guys, being um, what's that word relevant, and just um, showing appreciation and gratitude. Um, gratitude, that, yeah, gratitude is my attitude, yeah. That's, it. That's amazing. Do you have a message for all your fans out there? 
Thank you for being my fan. I love it. Hello, Mike. My name is Christina. I'm here with my page at Snow Queen LA. You just said that sky's the limit after this fight. And looking at this banner with LF Go behind you with this blue uh, color of the sky, it made me think of pigeons. And my question is, if pigeons could talk, what would they tell us about Mike Tyson? Oh, man. Maybe if they don't clean the coop. <laughs> all the time I have other people clean the coop. Like, Dad, well, you don't clean the coop, you have flies all day. You don't spend, spend enough time with us. Thank you, I appreciate that. This is Dr. Bailey with uh, Meal Ticket Entertainment. I have a question for both of you. Meal Ticket, I can make it up. <laughs> yes. Mike, all of your fans know you as a legend. Will we be can we expect a first round knockout like we did in so many fights that we've seen in the past? And David, is there another product that will be coming out after this product right now? Can we expect something else in the future? Well if I don't have to catch him, you can expect the one round knockout. You may have to catch the guy. I anticipate running after this guy for a round or two. Okay. And as far as new products, yes, absolutely. Like I, I mentioned, this has become a great delivery system. Um, you know, nicotine is now you know, using the pouch, and we've got other uh, developments uh, in the pipeline, um, other supplements, and other ways to get to get your products into your into your body, your supplements in a healthier way. So yeah, we've got other products that are going to be coming down the pipeline, and uh, hopefully, Mike will. Uh, will love those as well and, and use them in his lifestyle. And let's fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you catch up, Mike. I will. All right, uh, it's Doug Davis, uh, iHeartMedia, Black Information hey, Network. How you doing, brother? Um, my question to you is, there's a lot of uh, young athletes that are watching your entrepreneurial moves, uh, whether they were in high school or college or even pro. What kind of message would you send to young, particularly black athletes, about managing their money and their future at a time in their life where they may be young and have a lot of resources, but don't know how mismanagement could actually hurt them and their family in the future? That's very interesting you say that. You know, um, this is what I found out in life. I don't care if you come from the biggest, wealthiest family in the world, and then you get your inheritance, it could be $50 billion or whatever. Handling money is an art. It's an art in handling money. Until when 1912 came and they invented taxes, all the billionaire robber bands all went broke. You know, Van de, I mean, Rockefeller almost went broke until his son, Rockefeller, John Jr., went to college and explained to him how to handle money, how to save, tax, save for taxes. No, all the Rockefeller, you can only name a handful of them right now. A handful of them. The robber barons. And um, it taught me that uh, handling money takes an art. You have to probably, I don't know if it's a school you go to, but you have to go somewhere and learn the art of handling money. And by doing that, you're successful in handling money. But it's an art. No one's born to handle money. No one. I don't care who you are, what family you came from. You're not born to handle money. You must learn how to handle money. It's an art. Mike. Uh, Mike Dixon, Vegas Sports Today. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I just want to get your thoughts on that. Better be than a three-ball fight. Where you like this? Woo! I just think, um, I, I think Better be is going to do well. I'm a big fan of his. I'm being biased. It's not fair to ask me that question. All right, and uh, lastly, uh, who do you like? Uh, Raiders or Steelers this Sunday? Excuse me, Raiders are going to win Better be. Raiders, 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 Raiders! Raiders. <laughs> All right, and I think that's it. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for the legend Mike Tyson. Thank you. Thank you, the yeah, founder, mastermind behind LF Go Energy, David Cinnamon. Let's hear it for him. Thank you guys for, for joining us here for this exclusive event. Now is a good time for you to get rid of all those energy drinks, get these energy pouches from LF Go. If you want to get some exclusive uh, LF Go Energy right now, you can go to the website, LF Go Energy. Dot com and use the code Tyson for a special discount. And thank you all for bringing that energy. Now let's fucking go! Give it up one more time. Let's fucking go!
fucking go! Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.